Hey guys, my name is Hannah and I'm here to review EF Ultimate Breaks Spain trip to Barcelona, Ibiza, and Valencia. So if you're interested in this trip and hearing more about where we stayed, what we ate, and everything in between, make sure to stick around for this video. Thanks for watching. On every single video, I like to make sure people know what EF Ultimate Break is. To break it down for you, it is the best travel company that books absolutely everything for you and is so stress-free. You literally just pack your bags, you show up to the country, and EF handles everything. EF stands for Education First, and they have many different divisions. The one I travel with is Ultimate Break. So that means anyone from 18 to 35 years old can look into these trips. If you are older or want to look at different trips, they have many different divisions, go ahead tours and stuff for high school or college students. So check out EF site. And to help you out, I have a $100 off code. It's called UAHANA100 is the code name. You have to use the link below to activate the code and then you just enter my code to get that discount. Yes, this can be on top of any sale. So EF has two different types of trips that they offer. They have Essential and they have Plus. Essential means you can room with up to 10 people in each hotel. The average, they say, is around four to six people. Could be more, could be less, just depending on the hotel. And then they also have the Plus versions, which means you pay a little bit extra to only have one roommate throughout the entire trip and also upgraded hotels and amenities throughout your stay. For this trip, we did the essentials version and I'll talk about a little bit more in detail when we get to the hotel portion of this video and just the pros and cons of booking either type of trip. For the flight situation, I went ahead and had EF book my flights for this trip. They give you the option, either you book your own flights or they book them for you. You'll see the price difference when you say no flights included or flights from where you're going from in the trip itself. And so in the eight trips I've had with EF, I've had them book my flights every single time. It's been really nice and convenient. Just have them book the trip and book the flights included. And so my flight path for this trip was from Indianapolis to Boston. Boston straight to Barcelona. So it was nice just to have one stop and one layover before Barcelona. It was an overnight flight. It was about seven hours overall from Boston to Barcelona. And we got there about 10.30 a.m. By the time we landed, got our bags, got on the bus, it was about 12 before we drove right into the city to our first hotel. When we finally got to Barcelona, we got to the first hotel, which was probably my favorite of the trip. It was a really nice location very central to the city there was a bus station and also a train station right across the street and the cool thing about this hotel was that it was actually student housing and when we went in August there were no students there so it was really nice just to have almost what it felt like the place to ourselves. and the really nice thing about this hotel is even though it was an essential strip where you could room up to several people with you. Everybody had their own room at this hotel. So everybody was really excited, especially after a long travel day, to just spend a little bit of time by themselves in the room. After settling in the hotel, freshening up a bit, we got outside and we went straight into the city center, got some lunch, and were able to explore for a few hours before the welcome dinner. That's one thing I love about EF, is they immediately integrate you with the group with either a welcome dinner or welcome lunch, depending on how long it takes you to get there. This trip was quite large. I believe we had 41 or 42 people, which is, I think, the ultimate max you can get in a group. So we took up basically the whole restaurant, and it was really nice just to spend some time with the group, get to know everyone, have a nice meal that was included, and look forward to all what Barcelona had to offer the next few days. The days in Barcelona were spent exploring the city, seeing all what it had to offer, and the first stop we made was Parwell, which was absolutely amazing, seeing Gaudi's work and just everything that he put together and learning about it. Again, that's a huge plus with EF, is although you're going to all of these beautiful, fun places and exploring, they assign you a tour guide that is separate from your tour director for the trip that can tell you about each city. So you plug in your headphone, you walk around, you hear them talk, usually for an hour or two around the city center to help you integrate and to learn more about that city. And then we finally headed to La Sagrada Familia in the afternoon. This was an added cost to the trip and it was so worth it, absolutely beautiful. Again, another plus with the F, I could go on and on, clearly is that you can skip the lines usually. The tickets are bought ahead of time, especially when you reserve and pay extra for them with the group. And then that way you can go online, you can get right up to it. 
instead of waiting all day, trying to buy your tickets, trying to coordinate everything, EF has already done it for you. So we immediately went to La Sagrada Familia. Beautiful to see how the light was shining through in the building. And it was just, I couldn't believe how big it was. And I just kept staring up about how tall and just how in awe I was of that. So that was our first full day. It was extremely hot because we went in August. If you go in August, just know it is gonna be hot. Went to a great place for dinner. And then the next day we got up and explored a little bit more. We actually had a free day. So it was up to us about how we wanted to spend it. What I loved about Spain, a huge thing of it is the tapas, the different um, small plates you can order. So you can try a little bit of everything and just how cheap things were. It was like three or four dollars for each plate and me and my husband shared pretty much everything so we got to try a little bit of everything and then we immediately went um, on the Las Ramblas road where it had all the different shops um, beautiful scenery we also got to see a few cathedrals as well and then we went over to the famous market the La Bocaria so after that we went back to the hotel and got ready for dinner and explored a little bit more on our own after dinner. After a quick dinner in Barcelona, that is when we went to the Flamenco show. And again, we paid extra for this excursion and it was incredible just to see the amazing work of the dancers and just to go to a traditional Spanish Flamenco show. Are you kidding me? And then after that, we went to sleep and got up for our next day to travel to Ibiza. We had a very short flight to Ibiza. I think it was like 30 minutes and we all got there together as a group and immediately started exploring the old town Ibiza. So this was a little bit further from our hotel. So before we could check in, they just brought us over. We explored the town. It was just so stunning to be by the water. It was a very clear day and we got to see all of the old buildings while also exploring some of the cute new shops that they have. We got lunch while we were there and were able to spend a few hours just exploring. Then we made sure to drive in to the hotel we were staying at in Ibiza. And that is something to talk about is the hotel in Ibiza. Um, it was definitely interesting. I think um, this is one of those situations where being fully transparent, um, I didn't feel like the money we were paying for this trip made this hotel worth it. It was in a decent location, but it was on the complete opposite side from all of the clubs and the nightlife. And again, even though that wasn't my scene, I know a lot of people that were on the trip that was like their main reason of coming because of this exact reason and it just made it a little more difficult to get into those areas and the hotel itself was fine i think because my husband and i upgraded we had a better experience than a lot of people on the trip my sister for example and nine of her friends went on the trip and they bunked up with six people on the trip the rooms were a little warm the ac eventually worked but at first it was just kind of interesting to get in there have everybody from what my sister said together in the same room trying to get ready you got the shower on it's hot it's just a little crazy when i first got there but again as soon as you left the room and the ac started kicking on it was better and again my husband and i had nothing to complain about because we had a beautiful room because we upgraded but i just wanted to be transparent because that's not everybody's situation and experience from this hotel so the next day in Ibiza, we woke up and just immediately got on this catamaran cruise, which is something that we paid extra for and something that everybody attended and had so much fun on. I'd highly recommend paying extra for this. The views were absolutely stunning and the dark blue water and just a clear day. And we got to just feel the wind and feel relaxed after a day of exploring, like day after day. Food on the boat was delicious. We had really an awesome crew on there that just helped us out and played the best music and just were able to relax and have fun. We even made a stop on the way back where we got to just relax for a couple hours in the water. Again, it was so nice after sweating all freaking day the last couple days and just being able to let loose and have fun on the catamaran. And then once we got back, we showered, got ready, and went to dinner. It was about a five minute walk to, from our hotel into the area that we went to dinner at. Food was spectacular. That's the thing we loved about Ibiza is the restaurants were incredible. The drinks, the food, the service. And then also a lot of them were right by the water. So the views of the sunset were just unmatched. Actually unbelievable. 
After dinner is when we explored the whole point of Vienna Ibiza, which was the nightlife and the club scene. It was just craziness. It was like Vegas. So basically the club scene was the complete opposite side, like I mentioned earlier, of our hotel. So we actually took a bus over there. There's public transportation that stops, I believe every 45 minutes and you can hop on the bus and it takes you to multiple different destinations. A lot of people went to Ushuaia and we just kept taking it all the way to the furthest it went into the main party area. And we had reservations to go see Fisher. In the meantime, before we went to High Ibiza, which was like so famous and a huge club, just something unbelievable. We went to Murphy's, which the tour director suggested for us. And I would go there a million more times. And I would highly recommend if you're in Ibiza to go to Murphy's. It was a smaller bar. You walk downstairs and just immediately um, were wall to wall with people, but not the crowded type, but just so fun, so hype. They played the best music everyone could sing along to. They had reasonable prices on their drinks. They were really yummy. The bartenders were awesome, so fun. And we just had a blast. By the time we went over to High, I believe it was like 2 a.m. at this point. And again, it was just all walking distance. Got right into High immediately. They had multiple rooms within High so that you could listen to different DJs until the main act came on. So we were just in different rooms, just kind of listening to music. It was so much fun. Again, it was super, super packed. Highly recommend you just once in a lifetime kind of stuff. Then Fisher, who was supposed to come on again by like 3 a.m., didn't even come on. So by that time, we looked at the schedule. The next bus was at 3.45. So we just finished up there, took the bus back to the hotel, which was again, very convenient. I think it was like a 30 or 45 minute um, drive there. Very tiring, didn't get back until the wee hours of the night, but every once in a while, you gotta go out. You gotta live and go experience this, especially when you're in Ibiza. That's what people did like every single night and it was so much fun. The tour director was very generous and didn't have anything start the next day till like 11.30 because he knew that everyone would be crazy going out. So it was really nice to sleep in and get a chance to just get up, relax, get some breakfast. And we went to a really cute place right by the water. After the brunch, we immediately got on the bus and went over to a beach area in Ibiza. The water was stunning and Yes, it was hot, it was dripping sweat, but again, it was really nice to just get in the water, relax. You felt safe keeping your stuff around um, in the Ibiza area. It was very a very busy and packed beach, but everyone was kind of around and didn't feel unsafe leaving our stuff on the beach area. And then there were several restaurants on this beach, so we were able to just go up, have a nice meal and a drink, and then we went to probably the most spectacular sunset I've ever seen. The tour director was raving about it wanted to see what it was all about. I'm all about sunsets and it, it was unbelievable. I'll show some footage and there's just no words. It was just a very peaceful moment for all of us. So after that, we headed back to the hotel and got ready because the next day was a travel day to Valencia. This is another thing that I didn't love necessarily about this trip is just how long it took to get there. First of all, we didn't even start our trek into the port destination where we were gonna take the ferry back to Valencia until like 10 or 11 a.m. So by the time we got there, got on the ferry, which was a couple hours and got to Barcelona, it was literally almost like dinner time by the time we got there. So we did lose a little bit of time in Valencia that I didn't love. The only thing I would recommend, and I put this in my review, is to travel way earlier in the morning. That way you just get there and have most of the day to explore because Valencia ended up being like our favorite. It was like a mini version of Barcelona. So I would have loved to spend more time in Valencia. Once we got there, we explored a little bit before dinner. Again, another tour where we had um, an earbud where we got to listen to one of the tour directors that lived there. It was so fun to hear her perspective and just the history of Valencia. We stopped by and we got some horchata and we got some um, amazing food along the way. It was so refreshing and really cool to just see all that Valencia had to offer. We also got to see the oldest market in Europe, which was so neat. And I'll get to that later because we explored that the next day. But that was our first kind of half day, if you will, in Valencia. Finally, it was the last day of the trip in Valencia and it was really neat. They had like a downtown area in Valencia that we got to explore. And it was really cool just to see all of the uh, modern take of Valencia and just the cool things that they've constructed in the last 20, 30 years. Because um, again, the first day we kind of started off with the historical side, the old 
um, Valencia as they call it, and then we went to the new modern side of um, the architecture was really new. After exploring a whole day in Valencia, we got to go back to the room one final time, change into our clothes, and go to the farewell dinner yet again, something that EF includes in every trip. Not only the welcome dinner, but also the farewell dinner. So it was bittersweet saying bye to everybody and just having one last hurrah, but it was really cool because they had paella, different types of paella, which was um, absolutely delicious. Three big, big uh, serving sizes of it, and then and we just tried different samples but we got really close with a lot of the group so again bittersweet to say goodbye but it was nice to just feel like we got plenty of time in Spain and to pack it up and go the next day and then after that we went back to the hotel packed up because the next day was a travel day and our flight was super easy we had a fairly similar path back we actually flew from Barcelona to Atlanta and then back to Indianapolis so it was like a one day travel kind of thing got back at a very decent time um, Sunday evening and just felt really awesome about the whole trip and as you can tell from this video um, each day was packed to the brim with amazing activity we also got a lot of free time which was really nice to explore what we wanted and were able to check off a lot of different boxes of what I wanted to see in Spain. Overall, if you are looking for a trip that is a perfect combination of seeing the historical areas of the different countries and then also seeing the beautiful water and taking in catamaran, relaxing, and then also trying some amazing food, seeing beautiful sunsets, then this trip might be for you. I would definitely recommend for you to check out the other Spain trips too, just to see which version you do like. And again, just knowing the differences between Essential and Plus might help you make a decision too on what you want to do so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and learned a lot about the spain trip um, if you have any questions or anything my social media is below check it out and again don't forget to use the code ua 100 to get a hundred dollars off your next trip even off of the sale and thanks again for your time bye bye